Hey Best Fiends fans, it's Vanessa here from Cake Style. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make Gordon. He is one of the fun characters in the Best Fiends game. So stay tuned if you'd like to find out exactly how to make him. To make this cake you're going to need two 8 inch square cakes, some cake boards, some buttercream, modelling chocolate, as well as a bunch of other tools that I have listed in the description box for you. The first thing I'm going to do is level off my cakes and I'm going to keep one of those aside for later. I'm using a 6 inch by 8 inch cake plate as a guide and some round cookie cutters to make our bottom shape. We're going to do this to both cakes and then create a custom cake plate to place it on. Now you can see that I've done the cake plate a tiny bit smaller than the cake so that we can carve it. But first off we're going to fill it with some delicious buttercream, stack our two layers up and add one of those tops of the cake that we saved. I've let it chill for five minutes and now I'm going to carve away all those sharp edges. We want him to be really curved so all of those angles go away and also we carve out a little spot for the start of the tail. I'm going to do a crumb coat of buttercream and while that's setting in the fridge I'm going to make up some Rice Krispie treats and they're going to be the tail of Gordon. I've placed some butter onto my hands so that the Rice Krispies don't stick and I'm creating a curve shape for the tail and then I'm popping in a thick straw that I have bent at an angle and that's going to be some structural support to pop this into the cake. You want to let this set up for about 15 to 20 minutes before you coat the tail in buttercream and do a full coat on the entire cake. Now it's time to cover Gordon with some beautiful red modelling chocolate. This tastes just like white chocolate, yet it rolls out like fondant. It's great for these kind of cakes because you can carve them and shape it and you can smooth out the joins. So I'm working in the main section of the body first and then working on the back of the tail and finishing off with wrapping the rest of the tail all the way to the top. I'm going to use what's called a boning tool but you can also use a toothpick to make the indentations in his tail as well as his body going all the way down the sides. Now his face is orange so I'm going to place some more modelling chocolate on him, cut it to shape but don't worry too much about the top because we're going to have some eyebrows covering. Now you can see I'm rolling out a really quirky bit for his mouth so I've kept some of it nice and thick. And then I'm attaching it with a little bit of water, but you can use clear alcohol as well. I'm using a little bit of white modelling chocolate to create some cute teeth. And I'm using a trick that I have learned along the way for cutting out the eyes. I'm using some cling wrap and that will help to create the perfect rounded shape of the eyes. Now I've grabbed some more of the orange modelling chocolate and I'm creating his claws. So I just want to flatten them out a little bit and then cut out the shape. If your modelling chocolate gets a little bit too soft, you can pop it into the fridge for a couple of minutes. And then you want to place them onto the cake just with a toothpick to attach. And I've rolled a ball for the tail with a little pointy bit at the end. Now, like I said, he needs some eyebrows. So I've got some thick eyebrows going to cover the top of the eyes. And I'm also using some modelling chocolate in black and white to finish off those eyes. I've got myself some floral wire and I'm going to cut it to size to create our little feet. All I want to do is bend it, roll onto it a little bit of black modelling chocolate and allow those to set for a few minutes so that they're not too sticky to work with. The antennas are done the same way, it's just a lot longer and a lot more rolling. And then you can place those into the cake along with his cute little legs. And we have our cool Gordon cake. I think he looks so amazing. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Remember to comment with what tutorials you would love to see next. And be sure to subscribe to the Best Fiends channel for more videos like this. For more of me, you can head to the Cake Style channel here on YouTube. Until next time, guys. Bye.